one of the most common questions that we get asked by accountants is what kind of results can I expect and by when? According to Mark W. Schaefer, it takes about 15 months to start seeing results when you're doing content marketing. This doesn't mean that you won't get results before this though. We've had some clients who have gotten great results after just one blog. But those who stick to content marketing consistently are the ones who are seeing results. They have more engagement on social media, they have more website traffic, and they have consistent good leads trickling in. But before you can decide what marketing will help you get the results you want, you need to figure out what success looks like for you. Results can be different for different people depending on what your goals look like. So results can be new clients and more money, but it can also be things like understanding your brand, connecting better with your audience, improving your confidence, helping you get rid of clients who potentially, potentially aren't a fit for you, having the opportunity to be your most authentic self. It can be freedom to help the people you enjoy working with the most. And it can also be building your team up and giving them opportunities to grow and progress as well. So the things you need to be doing to get results in your marketing are the following. Firstly, list out your goals. Know what you're aiming for before you actually figure out how to get there. Then secondly, create a marketing plan. If you haven't got a plan that's linked back to your goals, it'll be difficult to measure out your success. Number three is to create a strong brand that reflects who you are and who you want to attract. Number four is to build a website that serves as your hub and represents you well. And number five is to create helpful, useful content in the form of blogs, emailers, and PDF guides. We'd suggest blogging between two to three times a month. Um, but even better than that would be four times a month. But as long as you're consistent and that you do it regularly, instead of not blogging for four months and then blogging 12 times in a month, it's much, more, it's much better to be more consistent than that. Number six is to be present on social media. We'd recommend spending one hour per week engaging on social media and creating three posts on one to two chosen social media platforms. Number seven is to have regular meetings and reviews with your internal or your outsourced team. If you have your marketing, content marketing with PF, we'd recommend that you have at least one monthly meeting with your client marketing manager. And the same goes for if you have an in-house marketing manager as well, at least one monthly meeting with that person. It's important that you're really prompt when reviewing things that are sent by your marketing team and that you action homework and to-do lists with your client marketing manager or your internal marketing manager. Something else we find that's really beneficial is to hold action sessions with your team to make sure you really are progressing towards your goals. Number eight is to educate yourself. Keep up to date with industry changes that might affect your clients. Number nine is to share stories of clients you've helped. One of the biggest problems we find that accountants have is to actually share all the good things that they do for their clients because they feel like they're showing off and sort of selling. But in actual fact, people want to know who you've helped. They want to know how you've done that. They want to read those success stories. And so it's really important that you share that with your prospects, your clients, and your larger target audience. Number 10 is to involve your team. You don't have to do everything by yourself. If you've got a team, use them. If you don't have a team, you can also outsource some of the work that you may need help with. It may be that you need more time, so it's good to outsource. But it may also be that you don't have all the skills that it takes to, do, to run a full marketing agency. And that's absolutely fine. That's not why you're doing accounting, um, is to do marketing. You're doing accounting to do accounting. So number 11 is to show up and be visible. You don't have to do extraordinary things to be noticed. You just need to be there and be top of mind. So continue to provide helpful and useful information to those who really need it. And number 12 is to stop feeling like you have to help everybody. Because good marketing divides, it's supposed to send people away, that's its job. It attracts only the very best people for your brand and your firm, and it sends everybody else away. Now, most accountants get up too early. And the truth is, majority of the time, it's just too soon to see results. 
but they're giving up because they haven't seen a massive increase in engagement or a massive increase in social media and things like that. Um, results, again, may come in different forms and depend hugely on what your goals are. What feels like success to one company is and could be completely different to somebody else's success. Don't stop marketing if you aren't seeing results yet. It takes longer than you think. And finally, be consistent with your marketing efforts. The long way really is the right way. If you want to figure out your results and what they look like for you and what success looks like for you, please do fill out our diagnostic form on the blog.